Come here with that. Look. The first rule of undertaking. No, the only rule. Respect for the departed. Departed? You've departed from your senses if you think that I'm showing Pat Phelan any sort of respect. Hand him over. No. Todd. Look, if you want him, come and get him. Right. No. Oh. 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 Fifteen years an undertaker. I've never seen anything so unprofessional. What are you doing? You can't think that's appropriate. Turn that back on. Oh, step away from the Uber. Turn it on. Step away. What are you two playing at? Mum. Oh, who's that? <sighs> Eileen. Uh, it's a, an old lady. Um, no relatives. We we're, were just arguing about what to do with her. You were going to hoover her up? No, I was just <laughs> winding up George. Honestly, I come in to invite you both to the pub and find you making shake and rack out of a pensioner. What was her name? Pat... Sue Friedman. Oh, no one's claimed her? No. What do you do when that happens? Well, as I was just telling Todd, we have a policy to hold on to the S's for five years, just in case somebody claims them. How long have you had her? Five years last week. So what now? In cases where the five years are up, we dispose the remains in a garden of remembrance. Oh, with a ceremony? Not as such. But it's very respectful. Oh, how sad. I mean, that's just the way it is, Mum. Some people just aren't missed. Anything like that happening again? It won't. Provided you don't keep any more of my mum's psycho ex-husbands on the shelf. Deal. Do you know, I can't stop thinking about Patsy. Who's Patsy? The ashes that we were arguing about. Oh, yeah. I was so like her. Mm, you look good for an 80-year-old who died of a heart attack. Not that, but she was all on her own not so long ago. So was I. I mean, Jason was who knows where. You were on the lam and Julie never phoned. I'm here now. I can't stand to think of her being sprinkled on some lawn without so much as a word said. It wouldn't be like that. Can I sketch her? You. Well, is it allowed? Well, I can't think of any good reason to refuse. Oh, good, right then. Tomorrow, and I'd, I'd like to say a few words. Of course. So can you find out as much as you can about her? I'm going to make sure that those ashes get the send-off they deserve. Sure. 